I just found out that Cactus Club, one of my favorite plant shops, has restocked. I'm so excited to go there and do a little bit of plant shopping, and of course I will have a haul, so I always share my haul at the end of the video. And the other thing that's nice is they have a lot of their plants available online for purchase. I'm asked all the time about the different nurseries and greenhouses where I go shopping and if they have plants available online, and nine times out of ten they don't. However, Cactus Club does. So I'll be sharing all of the plants in the store today and their prices. And if you see a plant that you like, it is most likely on their website. And if not, just send them an email and they will hook you right up. I've included a link in my description below to their website, and if you use the link in my description, a very small portion does go towards supporting my channel, so thank you so much as always for your support. And if you're new, welcome. My name's Ashley, as you can see, crazy plant lady, so if that brings a smile to your face and you like planty stuff, um, you can subscribe, that way episodes show up in your newsfeed, and I post about once or twice a week, always good planty stuff. And we also have a fabulous community on Instagram. They have so many amazing plants. This has to be the most full I've ever seen it. And they have some really, really exciting ones. Ivy outdid herself. Like you can tell she got the good stuff this time. So I see so many like fun Hoya and begonias and philodendrons and anthuriums. And they even have some really great orchids. Um, and again, if you see a plant that you really like, most of these will be online, but if you see one that you like and it's not on the website, just shoot Ivy an email and she'll get you hooked up. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm trying to figure out like where to get started. I think I'll get started just on this table here. They have some beautiful calatheas and I think this one is an ornata. I'm not sure what kind this is, but it's um, different than um, the ornata like this one has like white it looks like little paint stripes on it and this one has pink little like I don't know calatheas are so beautiful to me they look like they've been like had their designs painted on the leaves this is a vit vitata 1498 and this one's ornata as I said I think this one's I always say it wrong I say Mykonos but that's Makoyana large 1698 for that beautiful calathea this is an Orbifolia, $14.98. Burl Marks, $13.98. And this is a Mosaica. Look at those leaves, $14.98. Then coming into some of these really beautiful begonias. And a lot of these are from, I always talk about her, but um, the company Harmonies begonias and she like creates a lot of her own hybrids and I'm like uh, starting to get um, a bit of an obsession with her stuff. This is a Kit Kat begonia 14.98. Like look at those leaves. They're so velvety and the colors are stunning and I love the little candy cane stems. This one is one of my favorites. It's called Size Marae, I think. Is that right? Yes, 14.98 on that. And really, it's just like, see if my camera will cap. Look at those leaves. <laughs> you see all those like fuzzies coming off the leaves and the stems are just beautiful. This is a begonia escargot and it also has fuzzies and the fuzzies on this one are pink, which you can't really see it on camera, but it does have like this pinkish hue to it and it's escargot because of the little swirl. And these are really healthy and beautiful. Um, trying to find a price. 14 for those. I guess they'll all be about 14. This one is really lovely. Midnight Magic, 14.98. Wow, look at this one. <laughs> that is insane. Begonia Harmony's Red Robin, 14.98 on that one. This one's really beautiful. This one looks like a peperomia. Begonia U6 
1498. I just love begonias. Like other plant, just begonias, especially these like Rex begonias, have such beautiful colors that other plants really can't compare. 1498, uh, U400. On some of Harmony's begonias, especially her angel wing ones, but on some Rex begonias, they have silver tips. And that's how you know it's um, like Harmony's begonia. So I'm like having to resist trying to get all of the ones that have the silver tips on them. I'm just so crazy about them. 1498. Wow, look at this. There's so many cool ones. Haven't seen this before. U309. Wow, look at this one. Goodness me. Silver Dragon. That is stunning. Oh my goodness, look at this one. See, I'm just nuts on these begonias. Look how beautiful they are. Carol Knight. This one's pretty too. Aces High. Palmata. Look how beautiful this one is. Wow. Harmony's Draco, 1498. They're just so freaking beautiful. I want them all. <laughs> Monstera Adansonii, 1498. And then these look like Macaulay, um, I'm sorry, Philodendra McDowell's. Yes, they are. 82. This is a terrific, terrific philodendron. It's one of the plants that's my biggest plant in my collection, and it grows so fast. And it's just a really, really rewarding philodendron. So if you've been on the fence about this one, I 10 out of 10 recommend. Let's see. Uh, they have some, this looks like Prince of Orange, maybe? Yes, 16, Prince of Orange, maybe like a little Moonlight one back there, 16. The Neon Pothos here is 20. And they have some exciting Peperomias. Look at these. I love the Peperomias that have like pink splashes on them. And this is Peperomia Abricose, 1598. That's kind of different. I haven't um, heard of that one before. This one's really beautiful too, goodness me. Um, 14, Peperomia Quito, beautiful. This one can change colors, like it can turn yellow, orange, pink, um, depending on light and heat. This looks like, um, yeah, Peperomia Stilt, 16. Mendoza, 13.98. Caparata Red Luna, absolutely beautiful. Like, I just love Peperomias, they're so gorgeous. They have a lot of great plants here on this little area. Um, this is the Milk Confetti, $15. Milk Confetti Syngonium, and it has the, you know, bright pink splashes on the leaves. This is a Batik, and it is 15. And then this is the um, Diffenbachia Reflector, 17 for that. Look how beautiful that Diffenbachia Reflector is. Oh, amazing. What is this one? Mamii, Mamii, <laughs> I'm like trying to get in there. Mammy I Silver, 36. Ooh, she is beautiful. Look at that, and I love on the stems how it has this little like ruffly texture. I love that splash of silver on the leaves. Okay, they have some more Syngoniums over here. Wow, look at the variegation on those leaves. It's really, really lovely. This is T24 Syngonium 50. Wow, look at that. Definitely never seen that one before. There's a lot of plants here I've never seen before. Um, this is a medium medium Spider-Man 78.98. Wow, and I love that they have some larger plants as well um, because it does take a while for these plants to like, 
you know, grow big, especially in our home and not in greenhouse conditions. So sometimes it's nice to just get a plant that's kind of already got an established root system, already nice shaped leaves, already adult form leaves. And this one is really, really interesting. And I like the name too, Spider-Man. Like who comes up with these plant names? I'm obsessed. Amedrium zipolinum, um, it's at 128. Wow, look at this. Really lush and full. This one looks like a squamiferum or something, so I'm not sure on that one, but really fuzzy stems. Look how beautiful. And then I see one of my favorite syngonium up there. Yes, it's hard to believe that it's a syngonium because it looks like a philodendron, but it's a chia pence syngonium. And this one is 118. Absolutely lovely. Ooh, what is this? Dark beauty. Okay, we have a dark lord. I haven't seen one of these in ages. I didn't realize the leaves get this big. Look at that. 118 for that massive dark lord. Um, I remember when these were just like impossible to find. I have one and I love it. And look that the newest little leaf coming out is so chocolatey brown. And they have some beautiful little ficus here. They are $26. And a beautiful um, philodendron Brazil. Let's see, $17 on that one, stunning. Look at this ficus Audrey 23. These are a really nice ficus and they have cute little fuzzy texture to the leaves that you wouldn't expect. And then some whale fin and look, both of them have little pups coming out. I don't see a price on those, but look, this one has like another little cactus kind of just growing in there too, which I love. Then this beautiful Adansonii. Oh, I guess there's a few different Adansonii's in there. Absolutely lovely. Look at this Lemon Lime Maranta. This one is 22 for the Lemon Lime Maranta. And then over here are some more of the Harmony Begonias. And these are the angel wing ones that I'm like, I'm so obsessed with right now. And um, these have the silver tips on them. So last time I was here, I got a couple of these actually like, isn't that so cool? Anyway, $17.98 for this one. This is Harmony's State. This one is Harmony's Nemesis 15. I love this one. Like look at the kind of dots on the outside of the leaves and the shape of those leaves and it's blooming. What kind are you? I don't want to like disturb the blooms too much. Galactica 17. Ooh. So amazing. Wow, look at this one. It has so many spots and I love the shape of those leaves. My goodness. Harmony's Wit 14. And this one's also Harmony's Wit. Just really amazing. This is a Scandapsis Pictus Argraeus. And it is $17.98. Ooh, they have some beautiful variegated Marantas. Look at this. Wow, I haven't seen one like this in a really long time. How much? Just out of curiosity. Wow, look how beautiful that is on my word. Um, some of them have prices. Ah, here we go, 17. Oh my goodness, that's tempting. Some more of the lemon lime Maranta, and then this is a philodendron goldie eye, and it is he like just so huge and beautiful. And the more mature these leaves get, the more of these little like lobes they put out. And so you can tell this one has a ton, probably the most I've ever seen. And it's $46. This plant used to be so crazy expensive. Like I love seeing all these um, plant prices come down. It's fabulous. Peperomia. Clusfolia Ginny, $12 for that. Really lovely. Peperomia Obit Pan, 19 for that. Have some Philodendron Lemon Lime here, 13 And then some more gorgeous, bless you. And then some more beautiful Syngoniums. This looks like um, like a neon robusta maybe. Some more gorgeous calatheas. And then look at this stunning aglionema. 12 for the smaller aglionema and then they have a large one. This is a beautiful Diffenbachia. 
Diffenbach Ye Camouflage 19. And then there's some really cute little Peperomia Hopes, one of my favorite Peperomias, 12.98. Like, just look at these leaves. How can you not give them a squish? Oh, these are adorable. Five dollars. Ooh, they have some um, Million Hearts variegated. 9.98 for those, and it's a Dishidia. Look, so pretty. And then a little Peperomia over here, 4.98. Here is a silver stripe philodendron, 38. That's a good deal on that. Look at that leaf. So lush. I love it. Sorry, I'm just like admiring it. Oh, they have some small ones too. 25 for the smaller ones. And then here's a cool, I think this is a type of pilea. I don't see a price on that one, but it's really beautiful. And then over here is a Sebu Blue. Epipermum Sebu Blue, $26.98. So many Calatheas, just lovely. So over here are a lot of Hoyas. So I'm gonna dive in and see what kind of Hoyas I Ivy found this, this trip. I mean, there's so many great ones. And the last time I was here, I got two Hoyas. So let's see, we have, um, a Hoya Callistophylla, $16.98. Love it. These leaves are great. Have it in my collection, otherwise I would buy it in two seconds. Hoya, Ellip Hoya Elliptica, $8. And Wyeti I Variegated. A lot of these I already have in my collection, otherwise I would be scooping them up. Little Carry Eye, 14 This is nice because it gives you a chance to have a Hoya without spending a lot of money. And I've had some good success with small Hoyas. Um, sometimes the small plants can be difficult because if they're not, their root systems aren't established. But with Hoyas, I've had good success with small ones. 14 for the Hoya Matilde. Look how cute that is. <laughs> that is so cute. I'm tempted, even though I already have one. Hoya Sigillitis, 22. What is this one? I like the like little splashy leaves and the long leaves. Hoya latifolia ranks and splashy, 12. That's a cool one. Oh, what is this little cutie back here? Hoya inflata, 56, adorable. We have a Hoya fungii. This is the kind I got the last time I was here. And I just think it's such a neat plant. I like this one. What is this one back here? Heart leaves splash. Hmm. Tempting. And then there's some Carnosa compacta there. And some Shepardii. Wow, what kind is this? Oh my gosh, I love it. Why many? I 32. Look at those leaves. They're so ruffly and interesting. Hoya Croniana Splash, Hoya Australis over here, 14. The Croniana Splash are 15. What is it? Oh, Globulosa. I got this one the last time I was here too. I mean, how could you not? It's 36 and look at those leaves. I had to, I had to just like get all over that. And they're fuzzy on the undersides of the leaves, like super, super fuzzy. Hoya Chlorantha, beautiful. Wow. And what is this one? Fuwansi Splash, 29. Lovely. Hoya Compacta, 13. Finlaysonii, Big Leaf, 28. Wow. That's a maybe. What do we have here? Parasitica Black Margin, 18. I have one of these and it is doing amazing. Elliptica again. Like, look at those leaves. I love Hoyas. Fungi, oh, I love mine so much already. Look, this one has a huge like vine happening. And Macrophylla, always a terrific Hoya. One of my first Hoyas that I just, one of the first Hoyas that made me fall in love with Hoyas was a Macrophylla. And Sigillitis 19, oh, how did I not start with this one? It's beautiful, Hoya Imperialis 28. Okay, that is, really tempting. Look at the shape of those leaves and the color. I love it. This one's interesting. Hoya vitilniodes, 24. 
But those leaves, <gasps> what's this one back here? Callistophylla again, 52, so beautiful. Ooh, Hoya obovata variegated on the inside of the leaves. Hmm, I love obovatas so much. That's a maybe, 27. Hoya SPUT168, wow, these are really beautiful. And they are 38. What is this one back here? Hoya Encrisada Eclipse 28. Oh, I'm like, every single one, I'm like, well, that's maybe, that's maybe. Hoya Sarawak 39. I think I have one of these. If not, I would buy that in two seconds. Oh my goodness. Whew. Out of breath. I love me some Hoyas. All right, let's keep going. My, um, here we have a Raphidophora Tetrasperma, also known as Monstera mini, Minima, like it has a Monstera Ginny. It's a Raphidophora. It's 14. And there's a couple of those. A Peperomia beetle. I have one of these. I think that I got here. And it just has put out so much new growth. It's fabulous. $17 and it loves light. Raphidophora decursiva also known as the dragon tail raffidophora, $12. Um, the more mature these leaves get, they look like a dragon tail. You can see some back there. It's also a very, very extremely fast grower and it's great to climb things. I had it climbing in my bathroom, but it needs a lot of light. Um, otherwise it can get kind of leggy, but whew, that thing grows so fast. I couldn't keep up with it. Alocasia bambino, $13.98. We have a purple sword here, $14.98. Wow, look at these Alocasia Sabrina, $26. Oh, I just love the stems on this Alocasia. And the beautiful arrow shaped leaves are um, really lovely. And then some fried eggs, 19. Really lush green velvety leaves. Philodendron bipenifolium, 15. Just hanging out here. Lovely. Oh, we have a piper. I love pipers and they really are so beautiful. And I have not had luck with them because I'm bad about watering my plants on time and pipers kind of don't appreciate that. Like when they want water, give them water and they'll like, they'll thrive. But I would be willing to give it another go with a piper because especially the crocatum, because look at these leaves. Come on now. And the backs of the leaves are stunning too. And they get so pink. Like, look how pink that is. I love it. This looks like another Philodendron McDowell. This one is 82 and she is a beauty. Wow, look at these jungle boogies. They are beautiful. They're 35. I have one of these and it grows like crazy and the leaves are massive and literally I don't have to do anything. I just leave it. And even if I'm in a, like being an underwater, this plant's okay with that. 10 out of 10 recommend. Beautiful. Ooh, we have some more little cuties right here. Some Cebu Blue Pothos and they're 5.98. I mean, that's a good find. We have like a little neon pothos, 4.98, and a lemon lime philodendron, 5. This looks like a silver stripe. I'm guessing it's about $6, the same as the other ones. Philodendron micans, 6.48, such a fabulous philodendron. And then peperomia hope, 4.98. Oh, look, they have a little brantianum, 7.98. And looks like some sort of like pothos, maybe pearls and jade, four, and peperomia ginny, 498. I, when I first saw this Vanda orchid when I walked in, it took my breath away. I mean, she is a stunner. She's 68. Let me pull back so you can see her in all her glory. Like, what a beautiful orchid. And then here's a Deschidia imbricata. And this one is 32. This is such, such a cool little Dishidia as well. Um, here's another one. They always have some nice Ripsalis as well. And this Ripsalis is Pilocarpa and it is 21. This looks like a really lovely Hoya. Hoya Neo Ebudica 44. And oh my gosh, this Hoya, let's see what kind it is. So this Hoya is called a Hoya Nona. Look how beautiful the blooms are. And not just that, they smell like straight butterscotch. It's crazy how much it smells like butterscotch. Ooh, 
Ooh, so we have some more of the Hoya verticul verticulata 58. And then a fungi here, 32. And I love that it's on a little trellis already. Like, I mean, and for 32, that is a steal. And then this one is really beautiful. Wow, it's a huge Imperialis. So gorgeous. What is, what is this one? Look at that leaf. Hoya Wallachai 58. Wow. It has little like spots on it. The older leaves don't really, oh, I guess they kind of do. I love it. This one here is a Hoya Mindorensis 48. I mean, there are so many incredible Hoya varieties that it's hard not to want to collect all of them, you know? Like, and they all have something unique and interesting about them. And as a whole, Hoyas are so easy care. And the fact that they bloom, I mean, there's just really, really great plants. Oh, here's another one, the Nuna, 18 for this one. This is the one that gives out the butterscotch, um, the butterscotch blooms, they're so beautiful. Some more gorgeous lemon lime philodendron. And then we have another Brazil here, absolutely lovely. A really nice size philodendron micans, 26. There's such a great mix of plants in here. We have the philodendron McDowell and then the Setenthi um, Luberansi. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce it, but this is one of my favorite plants. And these are beautiful. Like mine, I've had it re a really long time and it's so easy. And then look, another beautiful coldy eye. I'm obsessed. Another huge, beautiful Diffenbachia camouflage and it's only 19. It's a great deal on that. And then some other stunning Diffenbachias. This is a Diffenbachia honeydew and it is 18. Beautiful little snake plant here. And then this is a Prince of Orange and it is 18. Ooh, look at these Bietiers. They are 46 and they're really large, like gorgeous, gorgeous plants. Look at this leaf. You know, talk about unique houseplants. Look at this one. The Platycerum elephantotis large, 52. Like, look how cool that freaking plant is. And I don't have one, so it is tempting me, I'm not gonna lie. It is so beautiful. It's like a staghorn fern, I guess, but like a different variety. I mean, if you know anything about these, will you let me know? Are they easy to care for? I like that it is in soil and not in moss because I think I would have an easier time keeping up with watering. What are your thoughts on this? This Burgundy Beauty is a Macaulay Finale, and it is 16. These are Silver Stripe, 24. Such a lovely, fast-growing plant, great to propagate. I love mine. What is this one? It is a Melanochrysum, 34. So lush and velvety. I think this is a Moonlight Philodendron. Yes, 16. I love it when I like take a guess and it's the right one, it's like, quizzing myself during plant shopping, you know? Skindapsis trubii, dark form 29. I love this one. I had one of these for a really long time. It was so easy, true to Skindapsis, like so great. And this is a really uncommon one and you don't see them around that often. So maybe I'll get another one. I overwatered mine. I left it in the pot with water in it and it just, it couldn't handle that. Um, 29, but these are fabulous. Hmm, <laughs> Cactus Club always out here tempting me, like doing the most with all the beautiful plants. Philodendron Painted Lady, 24. I love mine. So beautiful and like very, very easy. Monstera Dubia, 58. Wow, look at the Philodendron Hopiae. They are 64. Wow, I can't believe it. These used to be thousands and thousands of dollars. Like amazing that they're now on the market and so affordable. And it's really all about these leaves. Like they're so tiny up top and then they have like the big bulbous um, shape on the bottom of the leaves. I just love it. And then this one is a 69686, 58. Mine is terrific, very easy care. And then a frosted heart syngonium like Love this plant. It's 86 and it's called Frosted Heart because it has like, you know, the little frosty color to it. And now this beauty back here is a Syngonium Chia Pens. I do have one of these and 
I can't say enough good things about it. Like the leaves are just so big. How much is this one? One eighteen, I think. Gosh, I wish I could go and put my hand up next to it so you could see like how big those leaves are. They're just massive, like size of my head. What is this one? I think this is a Bob C. Yes, 128 for the Bob C. Look at that. Beautiful. This is a Philodendron Aurea Golden Violin and it is 32. And it's called Golden Violin um, because of the shape of the leaves. It's like a violin and then given enough light, it turns like a really lime green color, like golden color. This one is pretty golden. This is a Philodendron Imperial Green, but it looks like it might have like a touch of irrigation or something. I don't know, it's beautiful. Then some Marble Queen Pothos. Monstera Thai Constellation and it's 98. Wow, can you believe that the Monstera Thai Constellation this size is $98? That's crazy to me. Like what a steal. I think mine was like five, $600 this size, smaller than this. And these are beautiful, like lots of irrigation, really healthy. It's amazing. I'm so glad that like, I keep repeating myself, but I'm glad that the prices are becoming more affordable. I mean, don't get me wrong, $100 is still like a lot to spend on a plant, but supply and demand, this is a great deal. And then Philodendron by Penifolium 24. And then look at the beautiful Adansoni eye. She's such a queen. 82. Wow, she's so big and beautiful. I love Adansoni eyes. Um, and then this one is a narrow form as well, which is kind of interesting. I love it. And then we have a BSTA philodendron, another beautiful, look at this new leaf on this Monstera tie. <gasps> Makes me want to get one. Another one. <laughs> Some more of these gorgeous skindapsis. I think this one is a really lovely Diffenbachia. Oh, and then some Anthurium here. Let's see what we have. Crystallinum 44. And yeah, they all look like crystallinums. Oh, this, these have some big leaves on it. What size are these leaves? 44, look how, I mean, come on. That is freaking beautiful. Oh, Anthuriums just are the next level. Look at this orchid. I think Ivy said it was like 40 or 50 dollars put the name of it here but it's so unusual like look at those beautiful blooms i can't get over it and i love them this is really pretty too a tab of poenzi 96 honestly it has like a little bit of a silvery color to it but most of the at tab of poenzis don't so that's interesting and this looks like another yopi big one 164 for this humongous Yopi. What a beauty. What is this one? It's so crinkly. So this is a Philodendron Glad Hands, but it's variegated. How amazing. I mean, look at those, the shape of those leaves. Hmm. How much are you? 148. Wow. That is such a beautiful Philodendron. And it's lush and full. It's on a moss pole. Oh, they have a Florida beauty, 228. Wow, but you know what? It has a lot of variegation, a lot. It is such a stunner. Like, look at the size of that, Pew, big. It's so pretty, so beautiful. And then we have a Tripartitum 68, a fabulous plant. Look, try for the three lobe. Lovely. And then Ring of Fire down here, 54 on that stunning Ring of Fire. And then another Syngonium Frosted Heart. Doesn't it look like it has a little frost on it? So cute. These Marble Queen Pothos are 24. This Philodendron Brantianum is 36. Look at that. So lush and full. Wow, this is called a Hoya Densifolia. Look at this beauty. She takes the whole desk over. Of course, I had to point out her beautiful blooms. Stunning. Ooh, some more gorgeous plants. We have some parlor palms, 18, and some more snake plants. They're all about 19. Really, really lovely. A gorgeous ZZ plant, 
28 and then there's like a whole little cart here called the misfit cart how cute looks like there's a ring of fire I just out of curiosity $20 for the ring of fire and $5 looks like some sort of variegated philodendron really lovely have a cute little begonia over here this is a Gloriosum and it's 19. I mean, this is like the deals. Ooh, a little Harmony Begonia over here, a little Angel Wing, $7.50. There's a Variegated Bird's Nest Anthurium for $20. Wow, that's amazing. What else? Gosh, there's all sorts of cute little stuff in here. Another little Philodendron. They have a Pilea Peperomioides, a Maranta, Pilea Neonpothos. This looks like a Hoya. $12 for the Hoya. And then some sort of beautiful philodendron. Looks like maybe a Macaulay finale. Look at these trellis. $5.38. That's a great deal. I want all of them. <laughs> Ooh, they have some more cool Ripsalis. This is one that I think I've had on my wishlist plant for a while, which is a Paradoxa. And I just love the way that these stems look. Like, I wish it would focus. Look at that. It's such a cool Rips Alice. 24. And then I think this one is Bercelli, 24. Nice Rips Alice. And then another one here, Pilocarpa, 21. Another Rips Alice. This is the Paradoxa again that I really like. This is a night owl snake plant, 14. And then they have some of the orchid cactus as well. 17 for those. Little Haworthia here, 12. They have a ton of cute little cacti, like so many of them. $6.50, $7.48. And there's just such a nice assortment of them. They're so cute. <laughs> I have so many of these little cacti in my house. I love them. Look at them all. This one looks like it has some blue in it. That's a cool little guy right there. Oh, wow, look at this one. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, this Paradoxa Ripsalis is 16. Gosh, there's so many cool Ripsalis. Ripsalis Ewaldiana, 16. Woo! Ripsalis Macrantha, 16. Here's another Macrantha. That's an interesting Ripsalis. Wow. Oop, look at all these. These are cool. Some of them are in really nice pots as well. What's down here? Ooh, some really interesting ones. I love the cacti. You guys know my cacti, girl. Look, of course I go straight to the astrophytum first and foremost, a bishop's cap. And then this is a really pretty euphorbia. I think it's a snowflake euphorbia. And then this one is another euphorbia, it's 18. This one's kind of interesting for 16. Oh, Memelarius, $16. Look at her little like crown of flowers. Just lovely. Look at these. Trictocerius petuana, 32. They need. These have to be the biggest pharaoh cactus I've ever seen. Look at this, 54. And then we have some cute little bear paws, 24, and um, all sorts of great ones. Some jade, 29. I like this little cactus garden over here. Ooh, we have a booby cactus, 72. And then look at this fun little grafted cactus. I'm obsessed with that. Oh my goodness, I love it. $20, all right, that's tempting. Some more Astrophytum Myriastigma. And here's another one. This one is a spineless Astrophytum Myriastigma. Euphorbia tortillus. Wow, it's all like twisty. 26. Euphorbia rinse very 18 have a moonshine snake plant. Oh, look at this big one. What a beauty. This one's 132. 
Just so many cool ones. Look at this fuzzy guy over here. Oh my goodness, I can't. Look at this one. 19. <laughs> I love these, the like mammillarius that are grafted on. I just think that is so cool. Gosh, so many. Gra oh, look at these. Variegated grafted cactus. 38. Those are amazing. <laughs> oh, and then they have the silver dollar vines. 17. I love silver dollar vines. Like, aren't they so neat? They feel like Hoyas. They're very succulent. I could not believe all of the beautiful plants at Cactus Club. I just wanted to buy all of them. And there are so many that I wanted to get, but I wanted to kind of, I don't know, keep my budget like within $100, which was so hard to do. I mean, I could go on and on. There were so many fabulous Hoyas and Philodendrons and even the cool like Ripsalis and Cactus that they had. Oh my goodness, the Yopii Philodendrons, like, my goodness, the Monstera Thai constellations, don't get me started. Anyways, so many great plants and they're all available to purchase um, online and you can go to their website. I do have a haul I'm gonna share, but just in case you didn't know already, you can purchase the plants online through their website, which I've included a link in my description. And not all the plants that I filmed today are on the website. So if you see one you like, it's really simple. Just shoot Ivy an email. I'll put the email here and she'll hook you up and you can buy whatever plant you like. And I thought the prices were really good for the charlotte market where i live in charlotte north carolina like it was i was like so excited to go today and she had quite the shopping trip as you could see anyways let me share my haul of the plants that i got today i'm so excited the first plant that i got is a hoya and look at this beauty it is so cool it's a hoya waymanii and it, i've never seen one of these before it does have some sun stressing and I just love those ruffly leaves and the shape of them and they're kind of like just amazing. This one is $32. Ooh, I'm so excited about this one. It is a Ripsalis Paradox and it looks like a chain. And I've been really wanting one of these for a long time. And when I saw they had them today for $16, they had them for 16 and 24, depending on the size. And I just was so excited to get one of these. I love it. And Ripsalis are so easy care. I just love them and they're pretty quick growing as well. So yeah, that was a, this is just a great find. And they had a lot of really interesting Ripsalis. It was between this one and one other one. Just incredible. I'm really excited about this one as well. It is a Philodendron Mamii silver for $36. Look at this plant. I couldn't believe it was $36. I love the silver leaves. They are insane. And I really appreciate the ruffly stems. Can you see like how the, can you see how the stems are so, you see how ruffly the stems are? Like it's so beautiful. I love the shape of it. I picked this one. It has like new growth coming out. It's a nice size pot too. Like this is a pretty big philodendron mamii for $35, $36. This is a beautiful philodendron mamii. And these plants, I mean, the leaves are so stunning and they get so big. And I'm just a sucker for any kind of silvery on the leaves. It was tough, but those were the three plants that I decided on today. There were so many others that I just really would love to get my paws on. Thank you so much for tagging along with me. Let me know if you end up picking out some plants. They have so many great ones on their website. And uh, if you'd like to see future videos, make sure to subscribe so episodes show up in your newsfeed. And we have a fabulous community on Instagram. All right, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day, and I hope I get to see you soon. Bye.